So just the other day, I was traveling in British Columbia and I had a hotel room booked because I was going to be pulling in and uh, taking up a room as I passed through the province. So when we got there, we go inside and the person, number one, demands that I put on my mask. Well, I have a medical exemption. And when I said I have a medical exemption, then he said, I don't know anything about that. And I said, well, that's not my concern. My concern is that I have one and you frankly need to serve me. And amazingly exasperatedly, he then says, I need to see your vaccine pass. Or he said COVID pass. So I was like, hmm, what is COVID pass? Knowing full well, he means vaccine passport. So then after a bit of back and forth, finally, he clarifies the vaccine passport as he shows me his phone with a Q, QR code on it. Now, here's the thing. I will never get this vaccine passport. And I will not be getting this proof of vaccination. And I will not be getting the vaccination. And why will I not be getting the vaccination? Is it because I'm an anti-vaxxer? No, it is not because I'm an anti-vaxxer. I've been an amazingly strong supporter of vaccinations my entire life. And up until about the last year and a half, actually probably the last year, uh, I have been one of the people that is always calling out the anti-vaxxers, saying these people are idiots. If they don't believe vaccinations work, they should go back to live in the world where polio was ravaging people. Okay, because... Vaccinations are one of the greatest medical advancements for all of human history. It has probably eased the suffering of the human race more than almost anything, up to and including the idea of washing your hands on a uh, regular basis, especially when you're performing surgery, so you don't cross-contaminate people and corpses. But... The fact that they are making it mandatory and that they then say you must show your uh, proof of vaccination. Well, it's nobody's damn business what my medical status is. And the fact that they're trying to make it mandatory that everybody get vaccinated is only making me less likely to do it. So there I was and I refused to, to provide him with such proof. And he said, well, I'm going to get a fine if I don't allow you to, and you're going to get fined. But here's the thing. In BC, and we told him this, and in fact, we pulled it up and showed him. But did he care? No, because they never do. People who are uninformed and people who are idiots, they never recognize that they are uninformed and that they are idiots. This is the problem with dealing with such people. So when you try to reason with them, they just say, no, you're wrong. And in their mind, they're a, a brilliant, fantastically informed individual who can't possibly have anything wrong. So when you prove to them that they are not correct, they just ignore it. Because here on the site, it says what it looks like. Here's all this stuff. Places proof of vaccination is required for entry. And then it gives this big list. Examples of places that don't require proof of vaccination, right? Uh, where is this here? Hotels, resorts, cabins, and campsites. Does not include settings or events covered by PHO order. For example, a licensed hotel restaurant or wedding reception or conference, etc. But right there, hotels do not require proof of vaccination. But this person refused service because I did not provide proof of vaccination. So I ended up having to go somewhere else after a significant bit of time of arguing back and forth. Now, frankly, if they had finally given in, I would have said, no, I'm not going to give you my money because I don't want to give my money to somebody who doesn't want my money. So either way, I end up going to a different place. <laughs> they didn't give me any hassles at all. <clears throat> But 
and I'm going to go off on a side tangent here. I think this is interesting. Licensed restaurants, cafes that offer table service, you must provide. It includes liquor tasting rooms and wineries, breweries, or distilleries. But down here, it has tasting rooms without seating attached to wineries, breweries, or distilleries, where you don't require it. Now, I'd be interested because who is the person who comes up with the policy created here for BC? Well, it's a woman named Bonnie Henry, Dr. Bonnie Henry. And Dr. Bonnie Henry is co-owner of a winery in Caramios, British Columbia. Okay, it's the Claude de Soleil Winery. And if we pull up this here, our tasting room is open for tastings seven days a week. And they're currently going to be open until October 31st. So I just find it interesting that throughout the pandemic, there were uh, exceptions for wineries as far as places that people could go or couldn't go to get food or drink or anything like that. And if there were uh, exceptions for wineries. Now, I wonder why that could be when Dr. Bonnie Henry, co-owner of the Clos de Soleil, has a winery that you can go there and get tastings. There's absolutely no correlation, I am sure. No correlation at all. But when we have such draconian measures, and we also see things like this here in, I believe it's New South Wales. So let's listen to him for 28 seconds, okay? The for the unvaccinated is, is that you will not achieve any further freedom unless you get vaccinated. And a further, further and final message to regional New South Wales, there are parts of regional New South Wales that are currently open. Uh, the 70% roadmap does apply to the whole state. So there will be individuals in regional rural New South Wales who choose not to be vaccinated who will lose their freedoms on the 11th of October. So my message... So here, he says... That it is, is that you will not achieve any further freedom unless... You will not achieve any further freedom. Any further freedom. You are either free or you are not. And then over here... The 11th of October. So my message to everybody in who will lose their freedoms on the 11th of October. People will lose their freedoms. If you do not do what this person says, you will lose your freedoms. Well, then they are never freedoms in the first place. They're simply privileges that you, you wanker, John Barillaro, sees fit to give to other people as long as they acquiesce to your mandates and your dictates. So when I see things like this, proof of vaccination, I must go around and I, if I want to go into a restaurant that serves alcohol, I have to show that host or hostess my medical status. Or if I want to go to a, a pub, a bar, or a lounge, if I want to go into a gym, if I want to go into a business that offers indoor exercise or fitness equipment, if I want to go to an indoor organized event with more than 50 people, I have to let people know there that I have a certain medical status. You know what? That drives me more to deciding that I will never get the vaccination. I will never do it. Because as much as it was dehumanizing and appalling that I would get denied service at a hotel simply because I'm not vaccinated, when all I'm going to do is go into that room and sleep, that's it that I would get denied service. As big a deal and as pain, big a pain in the butt as that is, you know it's going to be a bigger pain in the butt. If I go and get vaccinated, and then I'm allowed to go to all these places, okay? And there's a lot of people out there that say, well, that is really stupid because now you can go to these things. You can go to concerts. You can go to theaters. You can go to dances. You can go to symphony events. You can do all these wonderful things. Okay, but here's the deal, and this is where maybe I'm different than other people. Every time I go to that restaurant, I will not be happy. Oh, thank goodness I can come to this restaurant. I will be pissed off knowing that I am only there because 
some jerk like this guy here or like Bonnie Henry, okay? This chick here, because I've now bowed before them and I have acquiesced to what they have demanded of me, whether I needed it or not, whether I wanted it or not, okay? I go to that restaurant, I'm going to be pissed. It's going to be a reminder of how much I hate the government and how much I'm growing to hate my country. If I go to a casino or a movie theater, I'm not going to be there sitting there enjoying the popcorn and the movie. I am going to be sitting there raging and fuming inside at how I had to jump through a hoop to get the privilege to go to a movie, to pay my $25 between the ticket and the food to go and see that movie. Okay, that is the reality. I know myself and I know that's the case. So I will never get the vaccination. If that means I have to move into the forest, build myself a lean-to and pray that I'm not eaten by a cougar, that is what I'm gonna do. Because I will never bow before these people, these petty tyrants who feel that they know how to better run my life than do I. And frankly, nobody else should either. Every single one of these people should be kicked out of government. And we need to replace them with people who do not want those jobs. Because the only good people in leadership positions are people who don't want to be in a leadership position.